Hi everyone and welcome back to the happy heart. I am so glad that you guys came over today to see this weekly routine. I really wanted to do something different, not just the ordinary what you do in a week kind of routine because my weekly routine kind of changes per season and sometimes just Per week to be honest I mean you guys who are moms out there you know what I'm talking about you just have to get done what you can get done and most of the time I don't take a specific day to do all of my weekly routine cleaning even though I get all of it done so what I basically add two or three items into my normal everyday cleaning just to um, cut down on the amount of cleaning basically that I'm doing. So a lot of times if I'm already in the kitchen, then I'll add something that I would normally do kind of weekly and maybe not do that every day. And so what I'm doing right now is I'm actually doing a load of laundry and I got this tip somewhere. I wish I could take credit for it, but I have no idea where it came from. But it was take all of your clothes um, that you hang up and actually put them in one load of laundry. In turn, the best thing about that is you don't have any mistakes and um, nobody puts your clothes in the dryer and shrinks them because moms, you know, um, this happens. People try to help you and then they mess it up. Yes, we have all had this happen. And you can't even say anything, you just have a shrunk shirt. I usually do this load about once a week and when I'm done putting them on hangers, I usually hang them on my shower rod because that's just out of the way. Otherwise I have clothes kind of hanging all over my house, over chairs and things like that. So I found that this is actually the best way and if there's any water or anything, it comes right into the bathtub. So the next thing I do weekly is I always clean out my sink, but more than just cleaning it out, as you can tell, I'll use um, dish soap usually every time I do the dishes and wipe the sink out, but I will put a couple drops of lemon essential oils down my drain, let them sit for a little bit, and then run some really hot water down there, and that keeps everything just super fresh. I do that about once a week. Plus, um, I actually do this chore all the time because I have more satisfaction with it so it makes me want to do other chores I just really like the way it looks so um, even in my weekly routine like I need something to keep me going because you guys like I'll just want to stop and not do any more cleaning just like everybody else in life I guess so since spring is here I have been loving loving smoothies lately and fresh fruit and for some reason I have just gotten into a lot of food prep and this is basically like a weekly thing I do um, that was just some bananas that I put in my freezer because I was afraid they were gonna go bad but I'll use them for smoothies and I like um, making a big smoothie of like fresh fruit in the morning and I'll put like spinach and tons of stuff in it but then um, I will just put half of it in another cup put it in my refrigerator and drink it later and that has been really really good uh, the other thing i've been doing is peeling these oranges if you've seen them in my last couple of cleaning videos uh, this is something that all of a sudden i started doing this i'll just peel a bunch of mandarin oranges and my guys have been eating them like crazy i have no idea why but they are really liking it and that's okay as long as they're eating fresh fruit um, other things that i do is i will put my um, salad stuff in um, a different container and I'll cut it up finer usually um, especially like spring mix I will cut that up more because I like it to be in smaller pieces I'll also um, do this for my strawberries and I'll wash a lot of my fruit before I put it away like blueberries raspberries things like that so then I can just like go and grab and I'm it keeps me out of the pantry but it's definitely something I do about once a week because we've been going through at least one bag of mandarin oranges a week if not two actually and y'all I only have a family of three if this gets your family to eat more fruit then it is worth all the time One of the things I absolutely have to do every week or it drives me crazy is clean my stainless steel. I really love the way stainless steel looks, but you guys know if you have it, oh my gosh, it shows everything. 
it, it just shows fingerprints and everything. And so once a week, I will go through and I clean all the stainless steel in my kitchen. I usually just pick a day that I'm feeling super motivated and after I get done doing the dishes or wiping down the counter, I'll clean um, whatever I think needs to be cleaned. And um, usually, every piece of stainless steel gets cleaned at least once a week if not more because I just don't like having the fingerprints and things like that on there also my dishwasher it um, shows like a watermark or something and when I um, when I run it so that I tend to clean more as well if I know like I have company coming or something like that I don't know why but it just bothers me the best thing about this stainless steel cleaner though is um, after I've done about two appliances, I really can just take the rag. It has enough of the uh, Wyman's cleaner on it and I really don't have to spray a lot. It really just wipes off, no big deal. So that's good. And um, as you guys can tell, I just kind of wipe everything down really well. And even my microwave, I kind of just go around and wipe it all down. And which brings me to my microwave. I actually clean my microwave at least once a week. I usually just use one of my Norax cloths and wipe it out. And really, this has been wonderful because I don't know about you guys, but I hate the idea of like um, having to stick something in there like a cup of water and wait for it to go and do all that kind of stuff. If I just keep on top of this and just wipe it out, um, about once a week, I'm totally fine. So usually about once a week when I'm cleaning the rest of my kitchen, I'll just wipe out the inside really quick and then actually anything that's on the glass plate or anything like that, I can um, get up really easily. I hate scrubbing if you guys haven't figured that out. And so anything I can do for less scrub is always good in my book. So this I do literally every week and I love this glass cleaner I uh, wipe down my back door my front door and any of the glass in my house if I had to pick a chore that I hated y'all this would be it I hate cleaning glass hate it with a passion I have used so many different things so many different cloths and I just don't like it this is actually the best one I have found but it's not only something that actually needs to be done because of the climate that I live in, but I um, find that if I do it more often, I get less streaks and it looks better. For some reason, the way I clean glass, I don't know why. I feel like it's always streaky or something. I can't really figure it out. I'm just never satisfied with it. I don't, don't think I do a good job at it. Anybody else does it and it's perfect, so it, it is just me, but it is something that has to be done uh, because of where I live. There's a lot of pollen in the spring this time of year. I mean a lot. Y'all have skylights in my house that you can't even see out of at the moment because there's pollen on them. So um, it, this is just something that has to get done even if I don't even think I'm good at it. It's just something that needs to get done to um, avoid having a lot to do if I leave it for a couple of weeks. And I think that's the key to doing things weekly is to make sure that you're doing them so you don't have to scrub. So you can do them in just a couple minutes and then you're good to go and you don't have to sit there and scrub on your glass or um, scrub on anything else to try to get stains or anything like that off or go through, um, you know, thick, things that have kind of congealed on your windows and things like that. So it's really um, actually a, a good thing to kind of incorporate just little things like this into your daily cleaning routines. It has really helped me and I hope that it helps you guys too. I wonder what are some of the things that you guys do weekly? Do you guys do different stuff than I do? Does it change over the course of the year? Cause mine changes a little bit over the course of the year. So I would love to hear about you guys. Do you guys have something that you have to do because of where you live seasonally like I do? Um, I know that because I live in the South, this is just every year, this is what happens. So this is what we have to do. And so you'll actually see that I'm wearing some different clothes. Um, usually if I'm home, I wear kind of a regular shirt and some pajama pants. 
and that's kind of my uniform of being home. Um, but honestly guys, not putting the pressure on myself to clean everything on my weekly list once a week and just kind of incorporating it here and there has really been a lifesaver and I hope that that's something that can help you all too. Comment down below though and tell me what are some of the weekly stuff that you have to do. Do you guys have to do something because of where you live or the climate you live in? Um, do you guys forget to change your clocks at daylight savings time? Isn't that so annoying? But yeah, leave me comments and let me know what you guys think because, and what is your least favorite chore too? Because mine is cleaning the glasses, you can tell. But I know we all have something that we just dislike to do in house cleaning. Well, sometimes it's the whole house. So this is pretty self-explanatory. We always clean our bathroom once a week. I definitely have to clean my bathroom once a week. I go in there because it's a guest bathroom as well. So if somebody came to my house, this would be the bathroom that they used. And I have a little boy, so I have to make sure that everything is clean and in order because you guys know if you have kids plus boys that sometimes they make a mess and that they don't realize it. So it's always good to go you know, back behind and check. And so usually I just wipe all my surfaces down and um, I'll wipe the commode and I'll usually vacuum and mop just depending on um, how much I have to do that day and honestly like I just kind of go in there about once a week and make sure that everything is good because it just needs it. I feel like you do have to check on your bathroom every once in a while and once a week might not even be enough but I at least get to it once a week and I feel good about it. I know for sure that I don't wipe down counters or anything like that any more than once a week and I hate doing glass and you guys know that I don't do my showers because that's just something that I cannot I just don't like it my husband does it for me because I hate it so much so you'll never see me clean the shower which is so funny but it's true and you know in relationships there's give and take and you know what I make dinner every single night and he cleans the showers so it works for us right do you guys have something like that that you kind of trade back and forth with your husband because we have a few of those and it works out really well actually so you guys will see in a sec that I usually vacuum at least once a week I usually shake out my um, rugs and I wash them about once a week I got them from Amazon I don't love them but they're okay and um, I usually vacuum the floor in the bathroom once a week though and the other tip I have is that I don't always mop the bathroom floor on the exact day I clean it or anything like that unless it's needed. Um, I usually spot clean the floor like when I'm cleaning around the commode and things like that but if it's not needed I don't do it. I wait until I get my mop out and if I'm mopping the rest of the house then I'll just take my mop down there and mop in the bathroom and that has actually took a lot of pressure off me that I know when I get my mop out that I will get there and that it will get clean and it will get done and that's usually about once a week anyway so I don't worry too much about it and you can't argue with these results. Isn't it nice to have such a clean bathroom? Oh, It's like my favorite thing. This I always work for the reward. I never think about it while I'm doing it. I just work for the reward. The very last thing I always do is I always mop, um, whether it be my kitchen, my living room, whatever it is, I try to mop once a week and I usually try to mop everything in like one shot. So I'll just kind of unplug and keep going. As you can tell, I was plugged in from the kitchen in that particular um, cleaning and then I just brought as far as I could reach into the living room and then um, continued and I actually ended up unplugging and I kept mopping and then went on into my bathroom as well as the dining room. So that works for me the best because I can um, do it all in one shot. Thank you guys for coming over. I hope this gave you all some much needed cleaning motivation and I hope it gave you a different perspective on a weekly cleaning routine. Literally, this was the best thing that has happened to me with just to pick a few different things and to incorporate them when I'm just normal cleaning and that actually 
has been the best. So as you can tell, I did this over a couple of days and that works best for me and everything gets done. And hey guys, as long as everything gets done, that is the most important thing in my book. Thank you all so much for coming over. Don't forget to hit that like button and the, and the subscribe if you're not already subscribed. And I will see you guys in my next brand new video. Bye for now.